So this is our version of our pretend cooking show that we are preparing for the 2020 Family Day in the Park here in Stockton, California. So basically the premise of our pretend cooking show is that we have already gone to Pinterest and we've already selected some recipes and we are going to place these recipes up here so that you can take a look at those recipes and we are going to rate them as one pumpkin means... Easy. Four pumpkins means... Pretty difficult. So will it be one, two, three, or four pumpkins? Will our creations be masterful, amazing, beautiful works of art or will they be... Pinterest fails. We'll see. I don't know, but uh, you are along for the ride. So thanks for watching. All right, Sam, let's get started with our very first okay. recipe. Our first recipe, we're just going to need tangerines. Okay. And a little bit of celery. Okay. Okay. So start it. So go. no, no uh, cooking, no cooking skills. No cooking all right. at all. So here we go. So anybody can do this. Anybody. Little kids, if you have little ones at home, maybe this is a good option for them. I didn't do this one with you when you were little, but I think it's really cute. Yeah. Okay. So don't even have to boil a pot of water. You can just, if you can peel a tangerine, you are good to go with this one. All right. That was really quick, Sam. <laughs> okay. So um, then I'm just going to cut a little bit of celery. Okay. No cooking required. Boom. It's a little pumpkin. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Just that. So cute. I love it, Sam. Yeah. Okay, so let's place them in with our other ones. And then we can see the next recipe. All right, so here again, another one with no cooking skills required. Oh, not at all. Okay, then you're just gonna cut the banana in half. And for this recipe, you're also going to need some chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Yep make them stand up like little ghosts. Or you can make them upside down, whichever way you want. This is a creative expression and you can just push the Boom. chocolate chips right into the banana. Just like that. And then you've got some spooky bananas. Yep. Okay, I love it. Very, very cute. Very easy to do. Oh, okay, okay, Sam, so are we gonna rate this uh, as what? I think a one. A one. A one. I agree with that one. Okay. Thanks, Sam, for that one. All right. And welcome back. Now we're here with our second segment, and this is going to be some spooky spider eggs. Yep. All right. So what did you do first for this recipe? Um, I had to boil the eggs, of course. And our ingredient list for this one is? Eggs, olives, and... Water. Yeah. So boil the eggs. All right. So first things first, um, well, boil the egg. When you're done boiling the eggs, you're going to um, drain, you're going to peel the eggs. But one thing that I wanted to point out is that there is a difference between getting eggs that look like this, which are eggs that are very easily, easily peeled, and eggs that look like this. And this is a Halloween fail or boiled egg fail. And a tip that we learned on Pinterest a while back was to put your eggs when you're done, when they're done boiled, being boiled, then you just place them in um, ice, and water. ice water. And that will let the, the peel, um, that whole shell come off really, really easily. Okay, Sam, go ahead and prepare this one. The first step is, All right. so we cut that egg in half and then we take a black olive. Yep. And the black olive, it looks like, I think the first... Yep, the first cut is the little egg. Okay. And then... So this one is really easy. Maybe if you're doing this one with little kids, you might have to help them a little bit when it comes to um, using the knife. But uh, but it, so far it looks fairly simple. Like this one looks really thin. I think this one's a good one. Well, that's... Okay, so how many legs does a spider have? Eight. Eight legs. So we're going to do four on each side. There we go. All right, you want to hand me a plate and we will put this guy 
plate. And you can imagine that this could be a super fun Halloween treat, something fun because during this time we know there are so many sugary snacks, but this is a great alternative, great way to get protein um, and have fun with an easy recipe because you might have some eggs and black olives already laying around the house. All right, Sam, so what do you rate that one? I rate that a, a three. A it, takes time. It, it takes time. It does take time. And you know what? You might think it's just a boiled egg. Um, I'm gonna give that one a two because I think the trickier part was um, peeling the egg. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so definitely keep in mind our trick about the ice water. That's a good one. Um, and if you do that and 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 make sure that you um, use two olives per spider, then you'll be a lot easier because if you only try to use the half of um, the remaining half of that olive for the legs, they'll be too short. Yeah. All right. Very cool, Sam. Thanks for that recipe. Welcome back to the Broger Pretend Cooking Show. For our finale, the last thing that we're going to do is recreate this image right here. This is a pumpkin cake made out of a bunk cake. Um, and very, very simple. What you're gonna need for this are, um, these are cakes, the, the cakes that we have are not made from scratch. No. I know floating around the internet there is an original um, like pumpkin spice flavor and you can totally do that, um, but we didn't. Today, all we did was, we just took it from the box. That's right, so box pumpkin cakes. The trick to getting this really beautiful shape though was, using two of these and putting them together. That's right, so two bunt cakes. Okay, so that worked out really well. Now though, what you're going to have to do is make sure that you let your bunts cool, right? Let your cakes cool. And then you are going to make a cream cheese frosting from scratch. So this was eight ounces of cream cheese. It was some butter. We'll go ahead and put the recipe above. Um, but the last thing that we had was uh, we had to take an ice cream cone and then we are going to divide the frosting that we made, the cream cheese frosting, into two separate bowls. One bowl is going to be green, and the separate one is going to be orange. So we'll have some orange around here, and then some green, and we've gotta paint this uh, on top. And yep. so I'll do that part, you're gonna do the rest, and then we'll see what we come up with. And so welcome back to the last segment. Uh, what we have is an already baked pumpkin that we have, uh, it's two pump, two bunt cake, two bunt cakes, two bunt cakes put together to form a pumpkin. And now Sam is going to come on over and um, take the first layer, which is our cream cheese frosting with the orange added to it. So go ahead, Sam, and do that part first. And then I'm just going to spray it out with the other. Okay, so, so far Sam and I have put the orange cream cheese frosting all around the top bunt cake. And the recipes online don't really show people being really careful with this. So you can spread it, it can be kind of messy. We used the like paint things of this to make it kind of look like it has lines going through it. And I think that works out just fine. So the very last step is to take your um, orange frosted ice cream cone and put that right in the middle. So let's yep. go ahead and add any uh, leftover to kind of cover up the spots where my fingers were. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and there we go. So let's take a look at that. And that is our final recipe. And this is the pumpkin bunt cake found on recipe on Pinterest. Yep. And uh, what do you think, Sam? How many pumpkins do we give this one in terms of level of difficulty? Uh. Oh, I personally think that baking is relatively easy, so I'm going to give it a three. A three. Okay. Very nice. And I don't think that this is a Pinterest fail. I think that it's pretty easy to do. Thank you.
you so much for joining us on this episode of our pretend Halloween cooking show. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that you try out some of these recipes. They are fairly simple. Um, and Sam, which one of these was your absolute favorite? Probably the orange one. The oranges with celery. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I like that one too. Okay, that one. And I think the cake. The cake is beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. But they were all pretty yummy. All right, so we are going to go eat, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of this spooky season. Mm -hmm.